fire type is Utopia Mine again? A fire type that's weak to water. What about yours, Ryusuke? Exact same. Man, does not anybody around here have any ground types? Hey, Emmy, which of these do you think is the cutest? Let's see. This one, I guess. Hmm. Don't you think it has too much lace, though? You think? I bet you look really good in it, Toko. Uh, nope. I just can't. Once I've made up my mind that something won't look good on me, it's over. I've moved on. Emmy, isn't that a magazine for guys? What do you think? Wouldn't hurt to take a peek, would it? Well, I guess a quick flip through couldn't hurt. Ugh! Oh, this is Shimada, isn't it? What the hell is this? He's trying way too hard. Shimada may be kind of scary, but you have to admit, he's always looking mighty fine. He needs to stop threatening people, though. I mean, he's always fighting with Yuya, even though Yuya always kicks his butt. He's a sore loser, plain and simple. If I were to go out with anyone here, he definitely wouldn't be my choice. I'd want someone nicer and more trustworthy. Like Kizami? Yes, exactly! You totally get it, Emmy. <laughs> you get really excited when you talk about Kizami, you know. Well, duh! Yuya is my ideal man, my Prince Charming. Though, he is kind of that lone wolf type too, so I never really know what he's thinking. Hey there, you two. Kurosaki getting all hot and bothered over Yuya again. Whoa, whoa, did we just walk in on some juicy girl talk? We are girls, and we're talking, yes. Can we help you? Ooh, way to be passive-aggressive. You girls are really getting in on the ground floor with this Yuya craze. It seems everyone's talking about him now. His reputation's through the roof. He's past the point of being a rival, and is now just someone we can count on for advice and stuff. Huh? Huh? Toko? Does that mean more girls are going to start going after him now? This is really bad. You guys all stay away from Yuya if you know what's good for you. There, there. Hmm, it seems like being a ladies' man IRL is tougher than I thought. I had no idea the rabbit hole of raw talent and fidelity went so deep. Well, to be fair, I guess it is just the image Yuya projects on himself. Is there anything he's not actually good at? There has to be. Everyone sucks at something. Well, I guess now that you mention it, when Kizami had to dissect a frog in biology class, he seemed a little more expressionless than usual. So maybe he's... bad with frogs? Actually, it may not be the frog, but the act of dissection that he dislikes. God, just thinking about cutting open one of those things gives me the creeps. Is anyone actually into that disgusting class? No, I really think it has to be the frog. Maybe it goes deeper than that. I mean, I've never seen Kizami touch any animals at all. Crap! We've got to switch rooms for our next class, don't we? Come on, we need to get a move on or we'll be late. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Huh? If you don't hurry, you'll be late too, Shimada. Damn, we've only got three minutes left. We might even have to run. Make sure you come too, Shimada. Hmm? Did I just walk into something? Oh! Hey! I love you, bastard! <laughs> Damn it! Mitsuki, did the budget application from the Rakugo Style Comedy Club come in yet? Not yet. And if they don't submit it soon, there's going to be hell to pay. No kidding. 
I should have a word with them. Their club president is always so slow, and he's always making excuses about it. That's quite fitting, I suppose. Anyone who does the Rakugo has to be the master of speech in order to pull it off. What is it? I was just thinking. If you told me you did Rakugo yourself, I don't think I'd be the least bit surprised. Uh, what? Why? What kind of image do you have of me? I just think you'd look good in a kimono. That's all. Huh? What? Is there something wrong with that? Oh, uh, I see. Um, all right then. Hmm. You also strike me as a kind of father figure, in a way. Ah. Uh. Fukuroi, hello. Is something wrong? I'm, I'm a father figure. Well, you're always really level-headed for a high school student, and you're always either reading or doing crossword puzzles in your spare time. G well, that may be true, but Mitsuki. Do I truly come across to you like such an old man? That's what I've been trying to tell you. So, that's it then. That's how it is. <laughs> Just kidding. Huh? You may have the hobbies of a middle-aged man, but you're a wonderfully caring and reliable high school student council president where it counts. Mitsuki. Actually, if I may ask, has anything bad happened to you recently? Huh? Um, not that I can think of. Why? Well, it's probably nothing, but you just seem depressed lately. From time to time, out of sorts, I suppose. If you don't want to talk about it, it's fine. But if you ever want to talk about anything, I hope you know I'm here for you. Thank you, Fukuroi. That's what I mean about you being wonderfully caring. Well, I am your father, after all. <laughs> And that's what I like about you. Mitsuki. Y you know, Mitsuki, I... Uh. Fugoroi, got something to ask you. Oh, and you're here too, Yamamoto. Perfect. I need... Uh, uh, hey, what's wrong? Uh, Kai, you know. What's got you in such a pissy mood? Actually, scratch that. I don't care. I need to ask you something. What is it? I'm actually thinking of inviting Kizami to hang out, but I want to know what sorts of things he doesn't like, so I can... uh... avoid them? Something Kizami dislikes? Let's see. I can't say I know of a single thing off the top of my head. Wait just a minute here. Shimada, you've got a serious grudge against Kizami, right? And now you're inviting him to hang out? Something smells real fishy here. Ah, <laughs> uh, I heard that! Caught you red-handed, didn't I? I didn't say nothing. You made a noise! I bet you're planning to set him up again, aren't you? Now, Mitsuki, let's not get carried away. That's right, Yamamoto. It'll give you wrinkles on that perfect forehead, which will do no favors to your beautiful face. Though, I do still love the way you look when you're angry. Enough, Fukuroi! About time I was on my way. Later. Wait, Kai, hold on. You are so not getting away. Calm down, Mitsuki. Drop the chair. Drop the chair. The end of a life. The very moment of death. This box cutter should do the trick. <laughs> you, yeah. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Don't you nothing me, you little asshole. You've got a knife and an animal in your hands. Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet, so I'm not wrong when I say nothing now, am I? Stupid bitch. Are you for real? You realize that no one likes a smartass, right? You'd better cool that sass mouth, or you'll grow up to be even more of a good-for-nothing dirtbag than you already are. <sighs> Just shut the fuck up already. Why did I have to be the youngest anyway? If I had a little brother of my own, I'd love the shit out of him. Heh. <laughs> and if I had a little sister of my own. 